y'all welcome welcome to or welcome back to our very bookish channel and in today's video we're going to be discussing all of the books we want to read in september plus some upcoming vlogs <laughs> We are officially heading into fall with our September TBR. I don't have as many on my list this month as I did for August because I think I was a little over ambitious with my August TBR. It's never a good feeling when you can't check off everything that you intend to read in a month. I whittled it down just a little bit. I thought I would get a lot more done when I had a bunch of time off, but there was so much stuff to do that I didn't get as much time to read as I anticipated. I did get chunks of reading done, so that felt good, but I feel I always overestimate how much I really can get done in reading, even if I do have time. I always seem to think I'm gonna get like a book a day done, and that's just not realistic for me. I'm not that fast of a reader. So kicking off September, I believe we're going to be doing it possibly in the first couple weeks. If you watch our channel, you know that Amanda and I have done a couple Lisa Unger. I think it's a couple. I know of at least one, which was the couple in 5B, but we have done Lisa Unger books. At least I'm a fan of Lisa Unger. I really am a big fan of her books. The one I love the most by her is Confessions on the 745. I think that was a really well done thriller. Those that love Frieda McFadden or like things that are, there's some plot twists in there that I thought were done really well. So that one would be definitely one I would recommend by Lisa Unger. She just announced that she is releasing a short story on September 12th, I think it is, or 10th. It might be the 10th. And it's called A Doll's Story. I'm just going to show it on the screen because it's obviously not out yet. And then Amanda and I also have electronic arcs for a book that she's releasing next year, which is Close Your Eyes and Count to 10. I have it on my tablet, but instead of worrying about the glare. I'm just going to put it on the screen and I'm really excited to read both of those. So we're going to do a vlog on those two since one is a short story. I think it's like maybe a hundred pages and then her electronic arc. It shouldn't take us that long. So that's one of the vlogs we have planned for September. So first I'm just going to go over some of the books that we're going to be reading in vlogs and this is going to look a little bit different because the vlogs that we're doing in September we don't have the books already picked out. <laughs> so we're just kind of leaving this to chance here. A vlog we're doing in September is we are trying to revisit our little free libraries. So for our secret July TBR pick, we did a, a theme of little free libraries. And we got so many nice comments about that vlog and it got so many views. Y'all seem to really like the little free libraries. So for this month, we thought it would be fun to return the book that we read for the Little Free Library vlog and my book that I read was Sandra Brown's Thickest Thieves. So I'm going to be returning this book along with a couple of other books that I have here to, to donate and pick out another book. So we're going to be swapping out our Little Free Library books for new Little Free Library books and we're going to be reading one of them in a vlog for September. Our secret read for September, Amanda and I were batting around ideas and we have ideas now for both September and October. So for September, we had originally, at least I think I said it in my original resolution vlog way back in January, I think is when we put it out. I can put it on the screen. There were things that we were both saying we wanted to accomplish this year, either together or even separately with reading goals and vlogs that we wanted to do. I feel that we have checked off a lot of boxes for those, but the one we haven't done yet is going to either a library or a bookstore and just choosing a book based solely on the cover. And I think I said it originally tongue in cheek because Amanda very much pays a lot more attention than even I do to covers. I think we all do it to some extent. I think we all see a, a cover and think, oh, that looks good, but it doesn't always pan out. So it'll be kind of like a Russian roulette of because 
we have to pick it solely on the cover. We can't know about the book or read what it is about. We're just going to pick a book and then reveal our choice and see was that a good choice or not. It probably would be better to be done in a library because you know you're not buying a book that you potentially don't really want but I think I am going to browse a bookstore. I haven't decided which one yet but I'm gonna go and just peruse and try and choose several without reading what it's about and then choose one for the vlogs. We'll see how that goes. Another vlog that we have planned for September, of course, is our most anticipated TBR jar. We just uploaded our September and October most anticipated releases. I have added mine to the jar because a lot of the releases I have arcs for and I want to read and plan to read anyways. So I went ahead and put them in the jar. And in this month, we're doing it a little different. We're picking two because we feel like we want to read our most anticipated books faster we're not reading enough of them so we want to pick two for this vlog all right guys time for me to pick my two I'm so excited I oh I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna get but I'm very excited all of them I want to read obviously some of them I've already read kind of on my own so if I do pull one that I've already read or I don't have yet then I'll just put it back in the jar so the first one is from September and October most anticipated it's called society of lies and i do actually have an arc of this book so i will be reading that one in my video and the last one that i'm gonna get is the gods below it's another september october read and I do actually have an arc of that one. Super excited about reading that one. So, oh, I'm so excited for my picks. I do need to catch up on some of the old ones, but really excited for these ones coming out and that these are going to be in my most anticipated TBR jar reads. Another vlog that we're doing and also speaking of TBR and books that we want to, you know, get to in this jar, if you guys don't know, I have and Amanda has, I think some fashion same tbr jar we are putting so when we do the most anticipated videos of things that we're really looking forward to we are putting in this jar the books from those videos so that in the months that we don't do a most anticipated video we get a chance to read down some of the tbr from that in september i suggested just because i really want to read some of the stuff that's been out for a while is we do two from this jar for a video. So I'm going to be choosing two. And since it's not a secret one, I'm just going to choose them here. So you guys know what I'm going to be reading, hopefully. I'm not gonna say hopefully, I'm gonna do it. And it's stuck. Come on. I don't know if I'm gonna get this without tearing it. Okay, I got it. It is Curse of the Nautilus, which was in our May and June Most Anticipated. It's by Roland Kimmes. I, I don't know if I mispronounced that, but Curse of the Nautilus is one. I don't own that one. I don't, hopefully I'm gonna be able to get it. If it were in May and June, there's a chance that it would be in a library maybe. And another one is stuck. I really wanted to tape these, didn't I? It's coming. No, oh, that's funny. I, I already read this. Jumped ahead and I really wanted to read this. I will be going over this in when we do the recap for July and August. But I had picked We Used to Live Here by Marcus Clyre. And I really love this one, but I will talk more about it. It was a good one. But I will talk more in my video once I go over July and August. So I get to pick another one. That's nice that I'm whittling this down. I still have to add the ones for, we just released a, a most anticipated for September and October. And I have to add those. I didn't put those in there because just in case it's not out yet. One that I picked is The Guest by B.A. Paris. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get that one in the library for sure. The two that I'm gonna be reading for the vlog, not that one. <laughs> 
Curse of the Nautilus, which I'll put on the screen. And then The Guest by B.A. Paris, which I will put on the screen. So those will be in the vlog that we're doing. And so three more came out of my jar, which feels good. Besides vlogs that we're gonna do, and we may do a few more vlogs than that, Jen and I are discussing um, buddy reading, some arcs that we have, and we're also planning around our Halloween vlog that we're gonna be doing this year. So super excited about that. But in addition to any vlogs that we do, I wanna read The Lost Story. I loved the Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. Jen got me this autographed copy for my birthday, which I am so excited and proud of. It even has my name, Happy Birthday, from Meg Sch Schaefer, and a little stamp with a feather. And I, I did actually start reading this. I'm in chapter four, but that's not very far in the book. The chapters in here are pretty short, and I really want to finish the story. I, so far, have been really interested in the book. It's gripping me from the beginning, but I just have had to put it on pause to read other books that we're doing for vlogs, so really want to pick this one back up in September. Another one that I think Amanda is going to have done by the end of August, I think, a friend of mine had read it, but all of us got approved for the advance for Blood Guard, which I will put a picture on the screen instead of trying to get it out of my tablet. It is releasing in October, but Amanda and I do plan on doing a side-by-side -side arc review for that one. She'll probably get done way before me because she really wants to read it, but I do plan on getting it accomplished in September so that we can do an ARC review for it, and hopefully it will get done and posted, because I know we haven't really been that good about getting ARCs done in time before the release so that we can share with you guys if it's something you guys will want to pick up once it releases. That is my plan for now. I do want to read it. I just get scared sometimes because some of these books take me longer, especially for vlogs. And there's always something from my TBR pile that's calling my name that I really want to read. And sometimes I give in and read that and then the vlog gets pushed off to the side. So we'll see if I get a chance to get Bloodguard accomplished in September. You may end up seeing just a ARC review from Amanda, who knows? Another book, y'all, I know you've heard me talk about Apprentice to the Villain. This book is the second book in a series. The first book's called Assistant to the Villain. Absolutely loved that book. I thought it was super fun and whimsical. It's sort of fairy tale esque and there's a romance of course going on and the banter is very funny between the two characters and there's magic in it and it just is such a fun story. I can't wait to continue this book. This was on my list of books that I wanted to read by the end of the year so I am really excited to get to this and we'll be reading this very soon. Hopefully in the month of September. No. Speaking of books that I can't seem to get to, so I think it's been on, it's been in a most anticipated and I want to say two TBR videos. This might be number three for a TBR video, but I am going to read this in September. I am not letting myself push it off anymore. I am going to read it because I want to read it. And I have the physical copy. I originally had the electronic arc and didn't even get it done back then. Speaking of not getting two arcs. For sure, Look in the Mirror by Katherine Steadman. I will definitely get this done in September. I'm not even leaving room for, oh, it might not happen. So it's gonna happen. I'm only adding one more book for this month because I don't want to overwhelm myself. We are reading a lot of books for vlogs. I do have a lot of arcs that I need to read and get reviews posted for. So I don't want to overwhelm myself, but I really, really want to get to The Hunger of the Gods in September. The third and final installment, The Fury of the Gods, is coming out in October. I did talk about it in my September, October most anticipated releases. So I really want to read this book and then Go right out and get the third book as soon as it releases to finish up this trilogy. This is a Viking's tale. You're following three different point of view characters and 
in the end of the first book, they are starting kind of to come together. So I've been curious to know how these three characters are going to start coming together and interacting with each other because they have very different lives, very different parts of the country that they're traveling through. So I've been curious to see how these, these characters are going to line up. If they do, they might not even line up. I don't know. But it felt like at the end of the first book, they started coming together and their paths were going to cross. And I cannot wait to continue the story story in the second book. The writing is so good and the story is just amazing and I love reading stories about Vikings and there's a shield maiden in this book that I've said before reminds me a lot of Lagatha from the Vikings and I loved that character in that TV show so really excited to continue this one and jump into the third book when it releases in October. And since I don't have it, it looks pretty sad. I only have one physical copy for my September and of course my tablet, cause I'm gonna be reading Lisa Unger on my tablet and Bloodguard on my tablet. So the tablet, and then of course the choices that I made from my TBR jar. Thanks for watching all of the books that we're planning on reading in September. Hopefully you will tune in. Any of those interest you can tune in for those vlogs in September. Let us know what's on your September TBR. We would love as usual to get any suggestions or if you agree with any of these picks that we have picked for September. And as always, until next time.